All of the things we thought about the foundation was wrong. From the people who call him a hero to the ones who call him bad and too harsh on the others. This character is really complex with a past which is exactly why he treats people with low trust and faith. To understand whether the leader of the seven is good or bad or even deserving of being the leader, let's go through what exactly his history and origin story is. His character developments and who he is meant to be. The fate of the entire universe lies within my hands. Dumbass. <laughs> I cannot yeah. trust anyone, even my brothers and sisters. My mission might be impossible, but that only means I must be more careful, less vulnerable. Don't let anyone fight your weakness. To reach freedom, you must fight. So fight for the everything. Don't let the others choose what's perfect or not. Be free and choose your own path. If you want your life to have a meaning, then choose one and keep fighting. Never give up, even if it seems impossible to reach. As long as you believe in yourself, you got this. So stand and fight. You know what's right. Defeat the evil and save the world. Oh, wait, that's the wrong storyline. Have you ever felt weird about how much Foundation knows about D.I.O.? How he knew the choice of Collider's creation and Sloan's corruption is because of Geno and not herself? How Foundation knew how exactly the Spire functions and could heal up the Zero Point? Something which is part of D.I.O. Or even Foundation figuring out how Batman trying to leave the loop in the Zero comics. It was just Sayo's plan to manipulate Batman into taking full control on the zero point for D.I.O. This all leads into my really old fury of foundation actually being a past high up of the Imagine Order. Well, this fury of mine actually got confirmed as right. All because of Batman Foundation Comics accidentally writing it in the description how Foundation was a former I.O. member. This was removed shortly after since it was told to the writers of the comics to help them imagine Foundation true character and intentions. But it was never meant to be revealed to the public yet until it gets its own big reveal in the future. Foundation being a former IO member explains a lot to us, giving a full original story to the character and answers to why he's such a harsh leader. As we know, IO was created to make a better world and a safer one for everyone. It was meant to be something good and worth sacrificing your life for. Have you ever thought about the way Geno and Foundation talk to one another? It really feels like they had a long history with each other, especially from how much Foundation knows about him or same for Geno. This would only mean one thing and that's how Foundation was a higher up in IO or even part of the inner circle. Only higher ups like Sloan get to know who Geno even is in IO. The rest will get like a fake leader like Gunner acting as Geno just so my man can stay safe and hidden. But from how much Foundation knows about Geno even while he's meant to be hidden, it makes me think these two had a really interesting relationship together. These lines especially make me think these two are like Laura Hardy or The Rock and Kevin Hurts. Or your mom and your dad. I'm sorry. Foundation and Geno probably had a really close relationship like two brothers for life. Starting I.O. with a dream for a better omniverse. But remember the line Foundation told Jones. This whole total destruction thing just doesn't feel like Sloane to me. She does whatever it takes to win, but she's not a monster. Sloane's never been in charge. Hold on. Do you seriously mean that... Jeno. 
It's always been Jenna. Well, the question is, how would he even know that? John Jones probably knew about Sloan more than Foundation, but yet Foundation was the one to know why Sloan is doing what she is now. Living beings learn from their past experience, which means that Foundation could have gone through the same thing. Just think about it, why would Foundation leave the eye over such a beautiful, extra hot man to fight against perfection why is foundation so untrusting to anyone who has ever felt the touch of the io looking at them as corrupted beings that's probably because he has gone through the same thing he has been made to do bad things because of geno if even he could be manipulated by the hands of geno that would make foundation see how no one can be trusted if they ever come in contact with the io like my dude is not trying to save your local grocery store or be a demigod to steal like a green stone to create like an angry molten karen or even beg to fight superman just because it's cool or be thick as fuck to become thick as fuck damn he is trying to save the omniverse that's the biggest burden someone could ever carry a tiny mistake means so so much will go wrong and so many people will be hurt just like this mistake don't take foundation being harsh on paradigm or john jones as a bad thing he is dealing with the smartest beings to ever exist the ones who can easily manipulate you into doing whatever they want foundation built this event to bring back the natural order and give us all freedom but that task is harder than we can ever imagine my man has to solve the Fortnite lore on a daily basis to figure out how to act or what the IO is trying to reach by their moves and everything like that, man. If Geno did something horrible to him, making Foundation see Geno as a bigger threat than the nothing himself. Someone extremely strong and scary who can never be trusted. Why would Geno not be able to do the same thing to John Jones or even Paradigm? This was the exact character development and origin story and why foundation is so harsh on everyone why he has to be like this or he would be a bad leader but this doesn't really mean that him treating paradigm or john jones like that was like the right move as john jones once said the seven are terrifyingly strong once they're trusting in each other like brothers and sisters foundation being like that broke the trust and we saw how powerful the reunion made the seven in season two this moment in collision and ios victory is all thanks to paradigm and john jones developing foundation into an even better leader this is exactly why foundation is such a top tier hero one of the best in fiction and the stories his character development from a trusty friend of geno into a harsh leader who his trust has been broken into now learning when to trust and be loving or when to be harsh all thanks to john jones developing his character changing him the only issue is that he was already trusting in geno long time ago one who he thought to be his ally what if the ones he trusts right now like john jones or paradigm also do what geno did and betray him again think about it in a story where io and the nothing can easily manipulate you making you do what they want does foundation or you yourself have any other choice than be harsh on everyone or scared of them betraying you that's exactly why foundation is struggling to change and it's taking him a really long time to do so or let's see it maybe like this what if paradigm having a good reason for what she did means geno also had a really good reason for his moves too and foundation going against geno so harshly might actually not not be the right choice but remember this geno wants perfect order and foundation wants natural order exactly why seven's design has such a nature and grounded feeling into it while also being kind of futuristic
stick. A perfect order of Jeno would mean our freedom being taken away. Our choices being cut down into what Jeno thinks is perfect. But in a natural order of foundation, it would grant you freedom. It will let you be whoever you want to be. Your choice to make, there is nothing called perfect or not. Well maybe we could talk about like Jeno's face or even Midas Mizuki. This, this was our definitely perfection. God damn. So just because of this and Foundation's natural order, even if this great leader messes up or ruins things, his mission is still the right choice and mindset. Exactly why he is and always will be our true hero. Or an anti-hero? Or a demigod? Or a spy? Or Jumanji? A liar? GTA? Slow and calm? God dang doom! I don't know anymore! Or think about it like this, what if Fortnite wants you to choose whether the last reality, the 7 or the IO, which one is the good side? Which one you want to be part of? Wait, wait, pss, wait, before choosing one of those, make sure to use code Cyan in the Fortnite item shop because it makes Obi-Wan proud of you. Hopefully. <laughs> so do that and click on this video to finally fully understand the storyline of Fortnite and why the last reality keeps trying to reach the zero point.